All right, you are welcome again. You are still on calculus on a section that says solving inequalities using sign chart. All right, let's see what we can do for today. This question say, find the range of values of x for which 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2 is greater than 1 all over 2. Yeah, find the range of the values of x for which 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2 is greater than 1 all over 2. All right, pay attention to this. Let's see. Solution. What we are going to do is this. We have the LCM of the both expressions to be 2x plus 2 in bracket. You get it? That is the denominator of the first multiplied by the denominator of the second. Okay? That will give you the LCM. Now, this take this. That x plus 2, take the square of it and then multiply it to the both sides. You get what I'm saying? That is, you carry 2 and then x plus 2 squared, multiplied to both sides. Okay, let me show you what I'm trying to say. We're going to have 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2 in the first side, right? multiply by 2 you open bracket now x plus 2 squared greater than 1 all over 2 multiply by that same value 2 open bracket x plus 2 squared all right good now in the left hand side we discover that we have x plus 2 and then x plus 2 squared okay so both of them are the same so x plus 2 in the denominator we cancel 1 x plus 2 there all right good now in the right hand side 2 we cancel the 2 up there okay good so at the end of this cancellation what we'll have that is remaining will be 2 x plus 1 that is we are in the left hand side now 2 x plus 1 in bracket then 2 and then x plus 2 because when x plus 2 squared you cancelled one of the x plus 2 remaining one all right good now greater than in the right hand side we have x plus 2 squared because we don't cancel anything there all right now pay attention to what i'm going to do here please don't multiply anything don't 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 I know in mathematics what will come to your mind is to open bracket and do this. No. What you are going to do here is you factorize. Factor out. So look at the expression in the left hand side and then in the right hand side. What do they have in common? Now if you look closely, you discover that we have x plus 2 in the left hand side and also x plus 2 in the right hand side is that clear yes now let's go we're going to factor out x plus 2 from the both sides so if you factor out x plus 2 in the left hand side what will be remaining will be 2x plus 1 in bracket 2 okay then greater than when we factor out x plus 2 squared now what will be remaining will be x plus 2 okay so if you use this uh this x plus 2 that is outside to open the big bracket it will give you the same expression above okay now let's go let's work on this inside bracket this big bracket let's work on it now we have x plus 2 in the big bracket let's use 2 to open this bracket so we have 2 times 2x will give you 4x 2 times 1 will give you 2 okay greater than we we'll just remove the bracket so we we'll have x plus 2 okay now let's go again we have x plus 2 in the big bracket for x plus 2 let's take all the terms in the other side to the left hand side okay now it's gonna be 4x plus 2 
now when we bring x to the other side to be minus x when we bring two it will be minus two so nothing is left there to be greater than zero okay now let's go x plus two in bracket then still in the big bracket we have four x minus x we give us three x okay then plus two minus two we give us zero exactly so that means what we are having in the big bracket is 3s greater than zero exactly now let's go we're going to see what we're going to do next we have x plus 2 and then 3x is greater than zero let's take it individually we will have x plus 2 is greater than zero and then 3x is greater than zero let's also remove the bracket then we'll have x plus 2 greater than zero or 3x is greater than zero now let's go we'll have x let's take 2 to the other side it will be minus 2 it will be x is greater than minus 2 or let's say 3x is greater than zero we are looking for x not 3x so we are going to divide both sides by 3 so 3x divided by 3 will give you x and then 0 divided by 3 will give you 0 so therefore we have gotten values okay now the values are x is greater than minus 2 and x is greater than 0 okay from here i am very sure that you can solve this uh sign chart okay you can use the number line to show what we are asked to show okay so we have been treating severally on this same topic so we have dealt with it much that i strongly believe that by now you can and you have mastered it you are now guru in sign chart okay please keep trying keep practicing them all right see you next time thank you please if you have not subscribed please subscribe